Moving on now to politics. If the Senate Republican walkout in Salem is not resolved and soon, we're going to see a lot of bills die this session. Dozens, maybe even hundreds. And many have a lot of people fighting for them. We want to revisit a story we first brought you about a month ago. A mom from Clackamas County pushing for House Bill 262676. The bill would expand victim compensation. That's the resources that you're entitled to if you're the victim of a crime. It includes things like counseling and help with medical bills. If passed, HB 2676 would expand the types of things that are covered. One new thing it would cover is strangulation kits. Those are used in hospitals to help people who've been strangled, but they also help nurses collect forensic evidence that can be used in court to prosecute the suspect. They are not used everywhere, but if 2676 passes, it would help get the kits out to more counties and help more victims. Kelly Harris started fighting for the bill after the death of her daughter, Kelsey. Kelsey was strangled in a domestic violence incident and died by suicide days later. Kelly wanted to do something to help out people in her daughter's position. And after we did a story giving people a step-by-step -step process on how to get involved in Salem, Kelly contacted her lawmakers, who encouraged her to testify for 2676. Here's part of her testimony from April. The Lynn County District Attorney's Office told me when it comes to strangulations, juries like to see bruises. I will never forget those words. I was told even if Kelsey had lived to testify against her abuser, the jury might not have believed her since she did not have highly visible neck bruises. This is the picture they took after her strangulation. If strangulation kits had been available in Lynn County at the time of my daughter's assault, they could have made all the difference for Kelsey. I urge you to pass HB 2676. Kelly tells us it wasn't easy to testify in Salem. She was nervous and emotional about sharing such a painful personal experience. But the bill did pass the Oregon House. In fact, it passed in a big way, unanimously. Every single lawmaker voted in favor. But before the Senate could vote, the Republicans walked out. And now no work is being done in that chamber. We talked with Kelly again today about her frustration. All of the advocates that I've been working with so far have been of the mindset that this is not going to pass this term because it's not even going to make its way for a vote. Despite the fact that it's budget neutral, it's not going to cost the taxpayers any more money. It's bipartisan support from square one and it just makes common sense. But unfortunately, common sense doesn't seem to be anything that's happening right now in the legislature. And I really hope for the sake of all Oregonians that this changes and this changes quickly. But what an incredible waste of time because in the meantime, all of those other Kelsey's that are all over the state are going to not have the support and the funding they need. Kelly says she's frustrated the lawmakers can't figure it out to come together to work on the bills that would help a lot of people. Well, if, if this doesn't get past this legislative session, then we start all over again. We have to literally start this bill from scratch, which is a waste of time, a waste of money, and a waste of resources. It's very frustrating for me as one individual, just a mom that's trying to get something done to help others. And it's also angry, it makes me angry for not just myself, but for everyone else. Because as I said, nobody's winning except the criminals by stalling this legislation. And I think more than anything else, I'm an Oregonian. All those senators are Oregonians. All the constituents they serve are Oregonians. And somehow Oregonians have not been able to come together and do the right thing. Kelly says that if the bill does not pass this session, she is willing to start the work all over again for her daughter's sake and for the sake of other domestic violence victims. But she's hoping she doesn't have to.